Hey y'all, welcome to Cooking with Coach Amy. In this video, we're gonna talk about making an on-plan Mississippi roast. The first thing that I do to prepare for my Mississippi roast is to make a ranch dressing mix. And I use a recipe from GwenSNest.com, which will be linked in the caption. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is get a half a cup of dried chives. And so that's what it looks like. All right, so we're gonna get a half a cup. And I'm gonna be putting this mixture into um, my blender bullet for my Ninja. And we're gonna buzz it all up together when we get done. Okay, next we're gonna do half a cup of parsley. Isn't this so cool, making your own ranch seasoning mix? And there are instructions here on how to make it dressing as, as well. Okay, and then we are going to do half a cup of garlic powder. Hey, if you make a mess, it's okay, y'all. All right, now we're gonna go to a quarter cup. We're gonna do a quarter cup of onion powder. I love doing this kind of stuff, it's so fun. Isn't that silly? <laughs> All right, coarse ground salt. I have a huge vat that I bought at a discount store. I don't even know the name of it, but um, that's what this is. Coarse sea salt, pink Himalayan sea salt. All right. Now we're gonna do a tablespoon of um, ground pepper, black pepper. And now it says a shake of stevia or truvia. I'm just gonna do a donk of pure stevia extract. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna do a little blend here of our spices. I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up and get it kind of mixed a little bit. All that green's on the very bottom and it's the most coarse. Was that fun to watch? <laughs> All right. We're just gonna pulse it a little bit till we get it the way we want it. Give it a little shake and get that heavy stuff down there. All right, it's good and blended. Isn't that fun? So when you blend it like that, it makes the flavors blend better when you're cooking with it, okay? So now what we're gonna do is just transfer this mixture. We're gonna transfer the mixture to a jar and I just kind of eyeball it and see which one of my cute jars it will fit in. I think I like this one the best. <laughs> All right, and now you have ranch dressing mix. Isn't that fun? Yeah. When you're looking at the website for Gwen's Nest recipe for the ranch dressing mix, be sure to check out the spot where she has the um, half pint measure is a mini mix test batch just to make sure you like it it makes a quarter cup of the mix which is good for two to four servings of ranch dressing or dip which is pretty much what we'll need for our roast recipe or you can make the bulk recipe like we made um, there are instructions on her website here on how to make the dressing mix um, for a salad dressing, which is great, a ranch dressing. There's also a, f a fuel pull, there's an S, there's a R S ranch dip, a French onion dip, all kinds of ideas she gave for us. So y'all be sure to check out her website for that information. Okay, at this point, what we're gonna do is mix up our onion soup dry mix. And this is from ohsweetmercy.com. And of course the link is in the caption. All right, so we're just gonna open up this little canister that I got at a yard sale. Isn't it the cutest thing ever? And we're gonna go ahead and get started. So first up, it's gonna be two thirds cup of dried minced onion. Okay. Then we're gonna do two teaspoons of onion powder. Okay. Now we're gonna do one teaspoon of celery salt. I found all of these ingredients at Walmart, by the way. And now we're gonna do a quarter teaspoon of paprika. Two teaspoons of turmeric. Okay. 
I did order this online a long time ago. I use this for my singing canary. <laughs> really good if you have a lot of inflammation. All right, one teaspoon of sea salt. Half a teaspoon of THM Gentle Sweet. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. And three teaspoons of dried parsley. By color. Makes it pretty. I feel so empowered when I make little mixes like this. I don't know about y'all, but I do. Okay, now what I do, there's no trick to this. I just get a little butter knife and I just give it a little spin inside my jar just to mix all this up. Just like our um, ranch seasoning mix, if you wanna blend it in a blender, you can, but um, this is just how I do it. I like having those, the little chunks of the minced onion. Give it a few spins. And you have a cutie patootie jar, oops, if I can get it done right, of onion soup mix. Isn't that cute? You could also, you know, seal it and give it a good little shake. That is always helpful. Yay, isn't that cute? Y'all make you some. Okay, are y'all ready to make one of the easiest recipes ever? <laughs> so this is the Mississippi Rose that I've changed to be on plan for THM just by changing the way that I use the spices and the mixes. So easy. Now, you can get a cast iron skillet and sear these um, roast if you want to. And also you can use any um, poundage of roast that you want. I'm feeding seven hungry people, so I usually get two roasts. Now, I was on a wing and a prayer with my Walmart grocery pickup order. This one is 2.6 pounds. This one is 1.8, and it's got two and hope that it would work. So, I'm just going to put both of these in the bottom of my crock pot. It is set on low. We're going to cook these low and slow all day. Okay, move that over, y'all. Now I'm gonna get a quarter cup of the ranch seasoning mix that we used and just sprinkle it all around. Lots of yummy flavor, guys. It looks like the Duo Greens powder. <laughs> Woo, lots of smokes. All right, not really smoke, but y'all know what I mean. All right, now we're gonna get a quarter cup of our onion soup mix that we made up. Sprinkle that around. I just love this little canister. It's the little things, y'all. So cute. I have a bunch of these too. We're going to do some pepperoncinis here. I have three left in here. I have shared this recipe in the THM main group before, and I've had ladies tell me that they use a whole jar of this. My family would rebel. They would not like that. So we just do, I have three. I'm going to put a little bit of the juice, not a lot, just for a little extra flavor, flavor. Now all we do is top it with a stick of butter, as Serena and Pearl say. I'm just going to sit this right here on top, and we're going to put the lid on, and we're going to let it cook all day. What does all day mean? Mm, maybe you could do about eight hours on low, and that would be good. Um, and I just, it's just so delicious and I hope you enjoy it. You, this would be a THMS because of the fat in the beef and the fat in the butter, of course. Now, what, I, what do I do asides for this? For my family, I make some, um, Yukon gold or red potato mashed potatoes. They love those. Um, and I might have a little quarter cup of that just for a little taste. That would put me probably in S helper mode, which is an S meal with a little bit of carb. So I do like to do that from time to time. I'll make a beautiful salad to go with this, and I also love to saute up some non-starchy veg. My favorite to do with this roast, for some reason, is asparagus. So I get frozen vegetables typically because um, sometimes I have big plans for all this fresh produce, and then especially vegetable-wise, it just doesn't work out. So to save my dollars and to avoid food waste, I like to get frozen vegetables, okay? So what I do is I put a couple tablespoons of coconut oil in a cast iron skillet or any other pan that you choose, put my frozen veg in there, get them nice and coated, fry them up. You can add some garlic, um, other different powder seasonings. My favorite, of course, y'all know, what is it? 
salt, pepper, and nutritional yeast. Toss it around with some tongs until it's nice sauteed, little, maybe a little char, nice crispy. You could put some coconut aminos on there if you wanted to, a little squirt of that. And you can do that with green beans, you can do it with broccoli, cauliflower, um, eggplant, it's good, zucchini, squash, the, the list is endless. So just be sure to round out your plate with some non-starchies and you will be well on your way to a delicious S meal that you didn't have to do a lot of work for. This is so yummy. I hope you make it. Thanks for watching and y'all have a great day.